Hello, I'm Daniel with PalmVids Tech Support, and today's tutorial I'll be going over basic setup or initial setup of GeoVision. So you got GeoVision all installed, and now you want to make sure it's monitoring whenever it starts up. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Locate the hammer and a screwdriver icon, and click on it, and then go to General Settings, then click on System Configure. System Configure box will pop up. The only thing we're going to be concerned about is under startup, we want it to start all monitoring. So we're going to make a check mark there. And then the webcam server is really important. That way we can view the cameras remotely. We want to make sure that that post and pre-record are also checked. That's going to set three seconds before the motion and three seconds after the motion. You can change that by changing the three right beside seconds there to whatever you want, six or nine. But I'm not going to be concerned about that. Now locate the camera record settings tab at the top and click on it. Once inside the camera record setting, you'll notice underneath monitor control it says motion detect. You also see round the clock and day and night. Day and night is for a schedule and round the clock is 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. To the right of that you'll see a little icon. Go ahead and press that and we'll want to select the Geo H264 you'll get a better compression with the same quality. More video on less hard drive space. And then click the finger at the top, right beside monitor control. That's going to apply that to all the cameras. Now let's go ahead and press OK in the system configure box. And we're going to locate the network icon in the bottom right. Go ahead and click on the network icon and then choose webcam server. You'll get a server setup box. What we're going to locate in the server setup is the server tab. So go ahead and click on the server tab and we're going to change the HTTP port from 80 to 8000. The reason for this is 80 is usually blocked. Once we change that we're going to go ahead and press OK. Now note that the webcam and the CCS server services are started. You'll see a little camera down by the clock and when you hover over it, it says webcam. And then you'll also see the CCS server, control center server. You want to make sure these are running to be able to view the cameras remotely. Now let's go ahead and restart and make sure that it's monitoring. Click the exit button in the bottom left and choose restart multicam and then restart by startup settings. Go ahead and click OK to restart the multicam. Once the multicam is restarted, it's going to ask us to log in. So we're going to press the key in the bottom left hand corner and choose login user. Go ahead and type in your username and your password. Once you have your username and password typed in, go ahead and press OK. Now take note that all the cameras are monitoring. When I click on the monitoring icon in the bottom, you'll see it says stop all monitoring instead of start all monitoring. Now let's check out the motion. There I am, moving, it detects motion, and then it stops when I get out of the way. All right, also note that the webcam service has started, and so is the CCS. The CCS is for remote view log. All right, so I hope this video tutorial helped you today, and please visit us at www.palmvid.com.